Yo, what's up, what's up? Two plus two equals four, right? What do you get when you get two salty versus two dudes? One cage. Oh yeah. I think this is gonna be an equation that requires one referee. Oh yes. Maybe two, I don't know. Welcome to Ren's Reactions. Dang, that's good. That one is Baja Lime Rays. My, minor adjustment right there, but not a problem. Refresh technology, BCAA amino acids, zero crash, zero sugar. Where can you go wrong? On with the show, guys. So, back to Russia, comrades. Oh, yes, back to Russia. Doing Strelka, two salty versus two dudes. Crazy MMA fights. I'm pretty excited. Should be interesting. But, you know, it's a short one. So, might be a double feature. I'm still on the fence in the editing process. I have a few clips to go through. Oh, yes. I have a few episodes to... Just put out there, guys. So many episodes just put out there, guys. Oh, yeah. Without further ado, guys, let's commence. Oh man, this is gonna be legit two on two. I'm digging this. Oh man, they, they could at least made it easier on us. They could have at least made it so one team is wearing the same color and the other team is wearing the same color. It looks like they're doing one of each on each side. But it still looks pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie, they all kind of look like carbon copies of each other. Like, if you were playing a fighting video game, these are the uh, creative fighters. Oh god, that one in the red gloves and black shorts. Oh my god, okay, that's the way I want to find out. One team is wearing athletic supporters, the other is not. So, cups versus no cups. Here we go, fight on, guys. <clears throat> And it looks like they're pretty much keeping it at one of those things. Oh. Very nice. They are like looping hooks at each other. Oh, someone just got hit in the face with a knee. Now this is going to be hard to keep track of because there's so many fighters. And it looks like, oh god. And it looks like one is down. Oh, this is the beginning of the end. Oh man. One down. Now it's two on one. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, this is a beat down for sure, and it looks like the cup team has lost. And it looks like there might be some kind of disagreement. It's hard to tell. I mean, I don't know how they can disagree about this. I mean, it seems like there's a slight misunderstanding by the no cup team. I mean, the cup team that they can interfere when one person is down, but as soon as one is taken down and TKO'd, they are out. In elimination rules. And it looks like our victors are no cup. Man, that was ridiculously fast. Like, honestly, that does remind me very much of the entire 5-on-5. Um, five five, but, you know, much smaller. Smaller, smaller capacity. But that was a really small cage for that kind of fight to happen. I kind of liked it, but I kind of didn't. It made it a very fast fight. If that had been, I don't know, like um, the 30-foot cage that UFC sometimes uses in comparison to the 25-foot cage, I think we would have seen a much better fight, much more dynamic, a lot more space for people to have worked. But they were throwing. No Cup team, oh man, this is not their first rodeo, that is for certain. They were like... Hanging and banging, and then they ganged up on that one guy, and boom. Holy moly. Now, I don't know which ones were too salty, and I don't know which ones were two dudes. But in the in the game of cups and no cups, no cups wins for sure. Thank you all for watching. Travel safely, and rock on, guys.